I mean, it's definitely a surprise that we we take it this convincingly, but I was I was definitely sure we were going to give them uh, quite the competition. Domestic teams, domestic lineups, uh, when they go up against each other, there's always something, there's always like this extra factor that you can't really point out, but it's there. It's gonna be a G2 2 0. Right. The moment we've all been waiting for, we're gonna be getting into G2 versus Envy. First map is gonna be Inferno, and it's the big one. Joxy, they saw you getting into that corner, but he's still alive and Chris kicking. Desperately looking for a way out. Gonna be able to get one. Apex comes around to help out, and down goes XMS. Body down in mid. What's going on? This second round is going the way of G2 in a big way. It is, and this is a strategy they've done time and time again. The Molotov gonna double down and start to burn these players down. They're roasting into fire and flames. They don't even get into the site before they're completely decimated. Scream finally gonna be dealt with as Apex comes through big at the end. They take themselves a two-man advantage. At this point, G2, they've grinded to a halt almost. There's only 25 seconds left. They're now trying to execute out towards A. RPK is gonna fall as well, but I don't think they're gonna account for Happy. Down goes Kenny. Now it's all on Shock somebody. Wait for that defuse to come on in. Body lines them up. They walk out in front of him and he gets them both. The spray finds both frags necessary. It's all unhappy, but Body goes the full mile, gets the 3k. They're going to arrive at map point 15 to 10. Oh, and then there's the nade, the slam dunk coming in. XMS goes down. Shocks does him the favor of removing his face. Apex come out from top. And almost an impossible retake for enemy us, but can they do it? Pistaran about to be underway. We've got G2 over on the CT side. Envy kicking things off on the T side. All the CT players on this B bomb side right now. Yeah, Shock's gonna open things up. Body trying to claim more wow. lives, and he's so ready for this. Gets himself two. G2 go ahead and pick up that pistol, and that'll be them 1 0 up. Forty-five seconds left. And G2 could try and dip in through in towards that B bomb site. All go for the rotate. They're going to commit towards a body. The man on the entry gets one and gets the second as well. Down goes Scream. Fifteen to eight. G2 arrive at match point for this scenario. Lighting them up, doing so much damage. In comes Scream. Goes for the spray and it doesn't fan out. Down he goes as well. They're walking into a bit of a stack. RPK does get one, but then the trade is instantly found by Body. We're putting more emphasis on getting Shocks and Kenny in front and doing action in the game and have them in a more proactive role. So we just talked about it and even though we lack a little bit of practice, we're feeling confident to move forward and go into the summer final. Decide a match right now. G2 versus Trick. Please take it away. As ever, it will be Shock soloing over towards B. That's kind of his home ground. And so D2 will flood in. D2 will be picking up this round with both Basilian and Hunden backing away. But G2, they'll just say, okay, we'll just take them to drop down room instead. You know, they got Body and Company waiting here to drop down together, support one another. Close and personal before he puts the knife in his back. Basilian trying to trade off with a couple players. It's a valiant attempt, but down he will go all the same. Trick's worst nightmares have been realized. Hearing through danger. Oh, they haven't checked Apex, and he should be able to just hunt them both down. And indeed he will. Double headshots with the XM. So this could be it for Cobblestone. It's going to be tricked on the T side to start things off. And again, they have a Molotov and a smoke. No bomb is going to fall. Bomb just about to get planted. Bonnie with a second. Looking to force and impose their will. G2 start training off in winning ways. Apex can't see too much, but fortunately Kenny S can. And he will not miss his opportunity. 45 seconds. Bomb, not quite under control from G2, but not far off it. Oh, that lands the shot onto Hunden. That is massive, and a second as well to Asilian. Unreal plays, and now Freeze was on B. NBK. Oh man, the crowd, they love it and they should because G2 are one round away from punching their ticket for the playoffs. And now Apex is going to close line Hunden from the side. Down goes Burrup. 
It's all on S attack. And now we are on to our second semi final. Mouse Sports G2. Yeah, this is Kenny S's time to, to shine if you really want to step into this tournament. It, it, it gotta be now, because if not, then I think Oscar is gonna get the better of him. The best teams in the whole competition going head to head now to decide who gets to go through into the grand final. Each team will win their map, and Cobblestone is gonna be the final battle. It's gonna be super close, but I still think G2 is gonna prevail here. The echoes of the crowd just roaring right now as Apex and Body open this round up. The afterparts looking perfect. Kenny. Watching Apex and Shox. Shox is going to find the burst. It's all on low. 1v4. Peeking on out. G2 go ahead and pick up the pistol. And that's the start they wanted. Oh, what a shot from Kenny though. Removes the phase of Oscar. You know, this is a great chance though, to build up some money. You've got Apex with the UMP up towards the safe bomb site. G2, 12 rounds to 7. Smokes and flashes raining on him. Bodies here with the M4. But they deliver some death, but he only gets one and done. It's shocks to come on through. Picking up two frags to his name. Oscar P250 in hand. Hopes and dreams, but only 19 HP after he eats that main and shocks gets himself the triple. G2, 15 rounds to eight. Body, look at this. Look at these guys go. They want to try and clutch this one out fast as they can. I'm gonna stick with my guts and say that Mouse Sports are gonna take this one because they are incredibly strong on cash. Love the Deagle on MVK, of course. But in the wow. meantime, MVK! Wow. The Deagle chiming death from afar picks up a second. And he's looking to try and get that big number three. Takes the peak and the Deagle in the pistol. Arguably one of the best players on Mouse. Oh, okay, oh, there's Body using the, uh, the fabled Body Wallbang. And the crowd is just going insane. That was a Yeah, was everyone a loves Body. Yeah. There's still a monster seven rounds between these two teams. Yeah, and this was supposed to be the map where Mouse could come back into the game and bring us to a third one, take us to Cobblestone. But so far, it has been the G2 show up in these two rounds here. And Mouse Sports picking up their eight. Sports They're going to be the team to arrive at map point 15 to 14. How are G2 going to take this loss? Because they should have won that. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Everyone in the crowd, everyone in the team, everyone in Twitch chat knows that G2 should have locked that down. Rushing in towards the site, it's Apex doing the damage, gonna get himself two. Dennis, on back, stuck between a rock and a hard place, will go down as Apex picks up four. The start that G2 wanted. Kenny with the Tech 9 picks up that frag, no problem. View from platform, that allows Chris J to wrap around, but Kenny picks up one, rocks in through the smoke. Kenny peeking over the top of the smoke, takes him down. This is incredibly hard, they need to get a frag right now, or straight to the safe for G2. And they do. They go down. And actually, Body and Nathan, they come on through, come in swinging, turn it into a 2 on 2, but then there's Oscar with the AWP in hand. He might only have 14 HP, but he's not out of the action just yet. Body, one versus two, bomb planted, ticking away, does the damage. Chris J is going to go down, he turns it into a 1 on 1. Oscar's watching up the smoke, but Body is ridiculous! It shocks, he's lining them up doing the damage. Will the fall? Mouse Sports have to secure this round. Kenny, he's already dealt a hell of a lot, finds himself too. Body. Rushing through the smoke, it's all on lol. Congratulations, you guys are in to the grand final. We heard in the semi-final how loud the crowd were, and I think it's going to be even uh, even crazier now in the final, so I'm looking so much forward to it. We're definitely ready for the final. What's going to give you guys the edge over Hellraisers? And you know it, the public. If we have the public behind us, we're going to win. There's no other way. It is going to be a 10-player retake over onto the site. Try and pick some that vision away from Hell Races. Oh well, this is not just vision, it's the life that Angel's lost. It's gonna be a clean sweep for G2 as they push straight back on and get the defuse. Oh, MBK. Looking for a second, yet to Angel will be bitly disappointed he didn't take out MBK. So they might bypass all of this, but not they're losing numbers like that. that puts them at a huge disadvantage. And Kenny has able just to turn around and make things happen. Again, three kills for Kenny.
12 to 3 half for G2 in a commanding lead. A wraparound from Car and meanwhile Angel's going up for the boost, but MBK, he's read the script, just charged straight through to the site. Apex with another one. I make that an extra. There's Apex again, following it up. He's so isolated, he's stuck at fourth, but he's got no rotation, and Apex continues to put doors between people's eyes. 15 to 6, 9 map points. Well, the beginning of the end for Cash, Hellraiser's choice of map. Eyeing up the cobblestone, which is up next. We are just about to jump in to the second map of this Grand Finals. Cobblestone coming up, and both the players going to push him simultaneously. Well played by Hellraisers to claim the pistol. The perks of having the extra 10 bullets is he could spray for a little while longer. And again, it is a clean sweep for Hellraisers. First kill goes their way once again. As they will clean things up and get a 6-0 start, but off to know. a rough patch here right now as Hellraisers are looking to fight back in this series. And Sticker comes through. It is going to be a tactical timeout, and G2 must be wondering what. And they just got shut down again. I mean, they got shut down in their one point. G2 starting to get some kills on the board, finally. Maybe this is their moment to start striking back on Cobblestone T-side. You 2 will finally put a point on the board after a huge start from Hellraisers. Straight through and put that AK-47 in the face of these adversaries. Downside for G2 collectively, they have 12 health, but they're going to make it work for two kills as Bonnie lands both onto Deadbox and Angel. Throws the Molly onto the Platinum and Tony the for boost on Tree, and G2 have pulled it off. Blake, but he's also building to a crisp and Kenny S takes him down. They get something done for Hellraisers. And a second. They're in this one and Bondic is just on a tear. Shock's going to take the open a one on two. And just make a beeline for the B site. Ooh, I like that. He did a sound cue to maybe try to fake that he was going drop down room. So this could catch Dead Fox. Look at him. He's worried about window. Gives shocks a bit more breathing room. And look at the result from it. He's going to get in. He's going to get the plant just in time. Unbelievable. And of course, with such an aggressive play, he's going to go in. Oh, what a flick that is on to zero. A masterpiece of a play. NBK is going to see action. He's been tagged down and will get fragged as well. Could this be the dream for Hellraisers coming back into this? It's an AWP and it's an M4, but more importantly, it's Kenny S. And he's going to come through with three massive kills. Body picks up the rest. Kenny S says, I'm having none of that. I want that trophy. I want that MVP title. NBK, the freedom to return fire and return the favor. Body and shocks. Make that just shocks as he's going to be coming through on the murder hole side. The positions looking tenuous for Hellraisers as now Shox has picked himself up one kill. Looking for a second, you don't want to duel with Shox. He's a player that will rip your head off and Bondic goes peeking one too many times. One for one though, puts a lot of pressure on Kenny and he is going to deliver. Hellraisers haven't quite pulled the trigger on this A hit just yet. There is so much time left. And Kenny S with a flick. Kenny S is already on for two. We'll get a third. What a shot. Has to come round the back of the balcony. I hope he can pick off Kenny S. And it is not going to happen. The downside is that a lot of the terrorists have already committed to coming out of mid. And the bomb has been dropped out there for us. So all the Seiko's greatness. It doesn't matter. G2 are running amok through mid. Sticko. Minimal health. 